Hello everyone, this is Joe from Digital Phantom and today I'm going to bring back to you another topic um, that we discussed previously it was developing desktop applications with PHP so let's get started with that in the previous tutorial we used uh, the PHP GTK library but that library doesn't have much support and pretty much the the that the, the development of that uh, library has been stopped since like 2010 or something like that at least that's what I've seen I haven't seen any um, any progress on that for a long time so I found out this new um, project that um, would allow us to create desktop based applications uh, for Windows it's based on the .NET framework so it's a PHP implementation for the .NET framework so let's um, let's see so here are two previous tutorials that I did on the PHP GTK library and um, and basically we're gonna start working on this new PHP uh, project that um, let us let lets us uh, develop desktop applications within the .NET framework, but still within PHP. And one thing to know is that you need uh, Visual Studio and you need to download the Phalanger uh, PHP uh, plugin for Visual Studio. If you don't know how to do that, I would do videos on how to get uh, Visual Studio and how to get this Phalanger uh, plugin. And um, let me just give you more information about that. Uh, this is uh, Phalanger. I hope that's how you pronounce it, Phalanger. I'm not sure. But as you can see here, it's uh, an implementation of PHP within the .NET framework. And um, it's pretty cool it's as far as I have seen and good thing is that it allows you to use uh, Visual Studio and allows you to use the Windows Forms so you could create like quick and, and, and easy uh, forms and implement uh, functions using PHP a language that you already know so let's get started with that um, right so let's see we have Visual Studio here let's create a new project and then Phalanger Windows Form application and we're gonna call this digital phantom browser and yeah I haven't told you what we're gonna do but we're gonna do a simple quick and easy web browser so let's click OK there we go and then Visual Studio is gonna do its thing to create the project and uh, there it is so now let's go into the design view like I told you we're gonna do this uh, quick and dirty thing it's a web browser but it's a quick web browser that we're gonna implement so first we're gonna need we're just gonna use two uh, uh, elements we're gonna use a text field text box and we're gonna use also a web browser there we go all right, so that looks good. So now let's uh, let's position this um, the way we want it. All right, so that looks good. This one looks good right there. So let's uh, move this there. This one here, and now let's uh, change the first. Let's change the name of that. So this is going to be URL good and we're gonna act, we're gonna change the um, the anchor points or the anchor so we're gonna put the uh, left top and right so that way when we'll scale it up and down or maximize and minimize it it stays constant and then this web browser we're gonna change the name also to browser make it easier for us and we're gonna change the anchor this one we're gonna make it all the four sides so when we maximize or minimize it it stays uh, on the same position so let's get started with this so first 
we're gonna enter a, a URL on this var here and then we're gonna have um, the web browser take us to that um, uh, to that um, website so let's change the name of the window to digital phantom browser okay it's not valid really digital phantom all right it's not valid all right so oh I guess that's taking um, I'm not sure why this is giving me that problem oh yeah because that's probably a variable right I'm not sure I have to check on that so let's see if we change it here Our phantom browser and uh, oh there we go and another thing is if you hear the the keys the keystrokes on my keyboard too loud yeah another uh, user pointed me that out and yeah the thing is I have to change my keyboard my keyboard makes uh, the keystrokes makes too too much noise and since I'm recording this my microphone is close to the keyboard so when I type something it gets like the sound gets pretty close to the microphone and that's why what's causing these issues so now let's look at this let's uh, select that text box and then let's go here to the events and then we're gonna do um, on key up there we go on key up we're gonna have a function and on key up the the, the application is gonna call this function that we're gonna create now so on key up all right so that looks good and then it's gonna create this function here but we actually don't want that function there so we're gonna remove it from form1.php and we're gonna place it to on form1.user.php and we're gonna also remove these things because it for some reason it crashes because the types are not understand understood by the system or something like that I have to check on that I'll like let you guys know about that so first uh, on key up you got a this uh, callback method and then you have a sender and then you have the event so first we're gonna get the URL of the of the uh, the value of that text box and we're gonna assign it to a URL variable so sender and then we're gonna say so sender is a text box and then to get the text within the text box you basically type text that's a uh, the that's uh, the 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 argument or the method. This well, it's not a method. It's just uh, a member of the of the. It's just a member of the of the text box class. It's just um, an attribute. There you go. For I have forgot that. It's an attribute of the uh, text box class. Now uh, the reason we're assigning that is because because we're going to reuse it and we don't want to start typing standard uh, arrow text. So now we're going to check something here. So if and then we close the if statement and we want to check if the 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 key that you enter was an, the enter key. For that reason, when you end when you press the enter key, we take you to that site that you're trying to to look for. So that's on the event and then you have a um, um, key code and then the key code for the event is for the enter key is 13 and then we're going to also check and the URL does not equal the entry string so if it's not empty and you press the enter key then it's going to take you that to it's going to execute what's inside of this and then we're going to do another check uh, to make sure that you are typing the URL correctly so we're gonna do preg match so as you can see I'm using standard PHP functions and then there we go and then there we go there URL and then we're gonna check if they use if it starts with HTTP well better yet if 
it doesn't start with HTTP, then we're gonna prepend the HTTP to it. So URL equals HTTP that URL and colon forward slash forward slash. There we go. And then we're gonna put the we're gonna change the URL of the browser. So this remember we call the browser browser URL equals new system URI and then it's gonna be the URL that we got and system URI kind and then absolute so basically we're saying uh, change the URL of the URL of the of the browser to this URL and it's the absolute URL so it's HTTP colon four slash whatever you type in and then lastly let's update the the URL um, 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 the URL text box with the new value so this URL text equals URL all right, so let's hope that works and let's run this start. And as you can see, we've got uh, some problems here. All right, so, so So we've got here form one on Kia must be at least as visible as protected. All right, protected. Uh, no, I believe that's not the uh, right function. I don't know who knows. So let's maximize this and put Google.com. Yep, uh, we've got some errors here. Oh, there you go. The namespaces of this, so we have to put a back backward slash, backslash there, and let's run this again. There we go. So Google.com. What? Some error again? Uh, what's the error? Oops, not there. My mistake. So let's see what's the error here. Oh, there we go. We're not checking for that. So if doesn't match, that we're missing that. So let's run that again. That's probably the reason why we're getting that error. And let's check that again. Google.com. There you go. Looks pretty good. All right. So we typed in Google.com and it took us to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Google.com. And now let's go to digitalphantom.net. We go. It's taking us to Data Phantom. And yeah, pretty good. And uh, let's see what else. Um, let's go back to youtube.com forward slash digital phantom fx so it should take us to our um, channel page there you go and um, I guess that's it for this tutorial and let, let me take time to let you guys know please subscribe to the channel we need more subscribers and um, and also subscribe to these other channels, so Astrum Academy and Juslib. I have a new video coming up with Juslib. Uh, for those of you 
who don't know about Juicelip, check it out. It's pretty cool, and this new version that came out recently, it's also really good. So also, let's uh, let's go to Twitter. Let's see something here. Nice. Come on, guys. Only four followers. Come on. We need more followers than that. It's just ridiculous. Come on. Follow Digital Phantom on Twitter. There you go. The you get the newest uh, notifications right there at the spot. If you're following us, and as you can see here, if you ask me questions on Twitter, I can help you out. No, um, really quick. Like um, the general here that I replied to him really quickly, and um, yeah, let's engage more on Digital Phantom. Um, I, I really need some feedback on on this things that I'm doing so I really know if you guys like what I'm doing and what all the things you, you want me to do so as you can see here it's a uh, it's, uh, it's a web browser basic web browser using uh, PHP and uh, it was really quick I mean under 10 minutes we did this basic browser and in my opinion it's really good I mean it's basic but it's really good so as you can see there we're checking using standard PHP code within this Phalanger uh, plugin within Visual Studio it's really good so I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put up a video showing how to like complete all this and uh, and so you guys can uh, if you don't know how to download it you could download it and, and everything like that so I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'm sorry if I say guys, but it's guys and girls, so, so I, I'm not discriminating. I know you uh, people out there watch my videos and you like them, so it's, I'm, I'm going to start changing guys to people, right? And so I, I love you all. You guys provide a lot of support. I'm sorry I say guys again. You, you provide a lot of support, and I really appreciate that. So keep showing that support and I'll try to help um, you on, on the way uh, making more tutorials and more frequently so um, see you next time hope you got you like this and see you in the future bye bye